Now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Uh, what a historic storm for land area covered. I think I was reading that um, 15 states, parts of 15 states had at least a foot of snow, like Arkansas, northern Arkansas got 14 inches. We had more than 14 inches in Iowa. Um, with the storm going up this way and lake enhancement, uh, I saw Ashtabula County, Ohio, got 27 inches of snow from that. So some areas just completely buried. We've got the clouds around now. We're tracking this clipper system because what this will do is turn the wind to the south southwest and make it warmer tomorrow. But behind it is an Arctic front and that Arctic front will be pulled through with some rain, snow and just plain old snow showers coming in. And then we watch this system. That'll be a clipper system that comes in uh, by Saturday. And then this system in Southern California moving this way. Now, if those two phase on Saturday, we could get significant snow. But if they don't phase, we're not going to get much of anything on Saturday at all. There's another clipper behind this one. And my thinking is that's the one that could bring some minor accumulating snowfall in here Sunday. So breaking it all down, windy, warmer tomorrow Then the Arctic front goes through. It'll produce some rain, snow and eventually some snow showers, some lake effect snow showers in the north and northeast on Thursday. We will watch Sunday, Monday for snowfall, accumulating snowfall. Uh, again, if we see a phasing Saturday, then we could see a, sub a substantial snow Saturday. If we see phasing Sunday, Monday, that snowfall be more substantial as well. But right now the thinking is Saturday is OK. Sunday, Monday, some accumulating snow, at least minor, and then Arctic blasts with multiple opportunities for snow down the road right into February. All right, here we go. This is looking into tomorrow, mostly cloudy, then becoming partly cloudy, windy, warmer. Here is the Arctic front coming in Wednesday morning, a few rain snow showers, then a few snow showers behind the front and some snow showers even in the afternoon. Then those pull away. Some of this lake effect will come in for Thursday. You see some of the lake effect snow showers there. This is early on Thursday morning. Again, we may have some local dustings or coatings from either the lake effect or some of the snow showers behind the front. Friday's a cold day. Then we watch this clipper and this storm. Again, if these phase Saturday, like right here, big snow here, but look how they're separated. So ice and snow here, snow up here, and then there's your other clipper. Again, as long as this doesn't merge with the storm down here, we're OK, but this could bring some minor accumulation Sunday, Monday, and then there's another clipper there we need to watch. If this storm and that storm phase big snow for us, if they remain separate, this will just bring minor accumulating snow 39 to 45 and windy for tomorrow becoming partly cloudy late, but wind chills still in the 30s, even with highs in the 40s for much of the area with wind chills again 29 to about 37 area wide. Then Wednesday 34 to 40 in the morning, then falling some snow showers gradually tapering late wind chills drop to the single digits. Watch for some local dustings and coatings and there are the highs on Wednesday with wind chills eventually dropping below zero to single digits. Your 70 forecast normal high is 33. We are at 18 on Thursday with some lake effect in our north and northeast five Thursday night and then we watch for some snow Sunday and Monday.